The city of Melbourne's just come out of well over a decade of drought and probably the worst part of that was early 2009 when Victoria faced horrific bushfires. The city lost thousands of trees. We're still losing them even now because of the damage that was wreaked over those 10 years worth of drought and the very, very hot days of the fires. The future challenges for sustainable management uh, relates to how we uh, design and plan our cities such that they become more and more resilient to future climate change. The heating of the city is only going to get worse. Climate change, extremes of weather are all going to contribute to increased urban temperatures. Increasing our tree canopy cover is going to decrease urban temperatures. Fundamental to that is, is being able to grow the trees so we need to plant them properly, have below ground conditions that are suitable and have water supply to, to ensure that they become those large water pumps that we need them to do to, to cool the city. We've got a range of projects from the very small, capturing water on the street directly into tree pits, to the very large. I think one of the projects that uh, really excites me is at Darling Square. And this is a project where we've collected the water in East Melbourne. As it flows down the hill, uh, we've dug a hole in the street, put tanks in the street where we collect the water, uh, covered it up, put a rain garden on the top where we purify the water, and then use it back in the square that's adjacent. For all of these projects, we, we work extensively with key stakeholders, but also the local community in making sure that they're supportive. I think the community would be very interested in even more projects like this happening all around the areas and, and not just in the city of Melbourne. I think it can only have wonderful support from the wider community. And what we're seeing here at Fitzroy Gardens is probably the most sort of up-to-date one that we're, we're putting together. And so what we'll be doing is capturing the water, cleaning it, storing it and reusing it in Fitzroy Gardens and, and Treasury Gardens which are adjacent. And, and that's going to give us in the order of 70 million litres of water per year that we don't need to take from our water storages. And, and that water will probably provide in excess of 80% of the requirement of water throughout the year for these spaces. The notion that if we recognise our city as a water supply catchment, we probably will treat our city differently. We will keep it cleaner. We will start to recognise the value of natural landscapes such as this to cleanse the water that's generated from our cities. They are like, like the, the kidneys of our cities. You can actually transform a city from one that uh, was profligate in its use of water to one which is hoping to achieve best practice in the use of water. It's a precious resource and we get enough falling on the city to meet our needs, but we're going to have to be careful with the way we use it. The City of Melbourne uh, has been used as a case study internationally uh, for, for quite some time now and it's often referred to as where the stars have aligned in terms of the institutional arrangement, the science and the creative thinking and the thought leadership and the implementation at the local government level. Total Watermark, City as a Catchment, is our plan for addressing the critical issues of water management that cities face going forward and that's the way we're going to address it for the City of Melbourne.